Hi, welcome to our NX12 video tutorial, the next one in the drafting series. The next part, again we have those surface finishing symbols, some tolerances, some fits, and a section view, but now done with a sketch with a section line. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Now let's begin with inserting a new sheet. Again, I will go for a three size, use template and OK. I don't fill those in, but I have to go to my sheet for the work active one and change the angle of projection. OK, let's go for our first base view. And I want only the Führungsbacke. In this part, one to one is OK, and just put it over here. And close. I want to have a section view, but I will do it with a section line. So just draw a line maybe like this and it's like in the sketch environment you could use geometric constraints and dimensions so i want to put those center points onto that line with a constraint same here the center point onto that line and that should be okay. Let's finish that sketch and it should go in this direction, yes, and okay. Now I want to see the hidden lines dashed okay. And now to do the section view, go for a section view, change to select existing from dynamic to select existing and select that sketch line and draw it over here and close. I will need an isometric view, so go for another base view. Select again that films bucket, go for isometric and put it there, maybe with a different scale, maybe like this and close. Now let's add dimensions. First the baseline dimensions, you go to linear, switch to baseline and select those elements and I want to have that tangent point as well and close. Now to move it select the first one. Again go for linear, switch to chain and I want to dimension that line, this line, and that point. Close. And in order to move this one, you have to move the last dimension you did. That's sort of crazy, but it is like it is. So then I need a dimension here. Infer is OK. That would be 30. And another one from this one to that one. 100. Then from that center to this center. Like that. Now go for the radius. 
that. And I need an angle. And move it here. Yes, these are all dimensions I need in that view. Now go over here. Give a close. Go over here. Let's move that annotation up here. And go for a rapid dimension. I need another angle. Okay, like this. And there should be dimension. Sorry, snapped onto the wrong one. Let's try once more this line to that line. Not possible. Okay, infer, infer, that's okay. Let's try once more. Select this line and maybe that line right here, not the drafting or here. It would be in the arc center would be okay in this case. This should be seven three and I need a tolerance. So go here and switch to uni lateral. Put it there and in order to change that display go to the settings, go to tolerance and switch the zero display from as zero to omitted and close and that value should be 0.4 and close. Then I need another dimension. In this case it's a cylindrical one here. 10.5, yes, and tolerance H, 12. Another one here. Not the tolerance, sort of a fit. And that would be H7. And another cylindrical one here from this line to that line and without a fit. and put it over here and then switch to invert twenty and I think I've have done all my dimensions close. Now I want to put in those surface finishing symbols 1.6 should be just select the line and drag it over here. Okay, and the other ones I want to copy from my sheet before. So let's select those. Control C for copy. Go to sheet 4 back. Control V and switch the transform. To dynamic then you can move it to the place you want it to be and okay and I think I'm done so hope you enjoy this one 
If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.